That's ready to go, Mr. Vincent? I'm ready. Hey, we're talking about the top 10 geeky Christmas gifts up next on Geek Out SA. Do not attempt to adjust your YouTube video. We control the street. <laughs> And welcome back to Geek Out SA. It's Friday and we're having fun and we're finally back. After all, even after the two weeks that we're out, coming back with, with tech all this issues. Disaster, so we're back late. You know, I, I wonder if we have a Windows update that we need to take. Yeah, let's do that now. Let's do that like right now. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. But I see I see one on my laptop right now, so I'm wondering as I like, is that or why? I don't I know. You're not. in charge of all that fancy stuff. I don't understand all of them their technologies. I just come here to look pretty. So we're back and we're talking about geeky uh, Christmas presents. We're out on our Thanksgiving break. Yes, and I had surgery on my knee, which mm -hmm. went well, and I'm off my crutches this week. Saw my surgeon cut my stitches out because my skin had grown over them. That was not fun. But um, but no healing. I'm just like it wasn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I can take stuff. I, I I birthed a ten pound baby, so like <laughs> cutting out a little stitches is no big deal. But well, it wasn't as was bad. It, it I mean it was worse the first su surgery. Well, but I'm glad that we decided to take the time off because I had surgery on Thursday and I thought, oh, well, you know, we'll tell the audience that we're going to be off on Friday just in case because my yes. first surgery for my ACL tear was bad. I had to have my whole ACL replaced. And uh, I was like, well, just in case we'll tell all of y'all that we were going to be out. So we did. And like Thursday, I get back from surgery and I'm feeling great. I'm like, this is easy. This is a breeze, right? No problem. Friday morning, I get up, I'm still fine, and then I'm like, am I still so tired? I just need to take a nap. I wake up from the nap, and I'm like, oh, God, what happened? What is happening? <laughs> so all the good good that they gave me for the surgery wore off. It wore off, and it wasn't so good good. No. <laughs> but we digress. So we're talking about geeky Christmas presents and our top ten. So it's top ten, not between all it's top 10 for each and every one of us yeah for each and every one yeah because i was curious to see you know what you guys would pick and what you would put on your list and stuff and you know just like if we could have any geeky things that we saw um or if we had like enough space in our houses because like there's not room in mm -hmm. our house and some of the things like i've shown vincent some of these things that are on my list but i'm like we are not paying that much for that thing that I think is cool, but it's like way too expensive. So before we, uh, we're going to, the first one we're going to do is we're going to start from 10 and go to one. Yes. So, uh, if you have your 10, uh, go ahead and let us know what your 10 is right now. And, uh, we're going to tell you what our 10 is. Uh, and then I'll, we'll just start with me and then go to you, Colleen, and then go to Stuart. Okay. And just bear with us because... It's a little slow it's for some slow reason, and laggy, so we're yeah. trying. But you seem to be sh switching between the cameras pretty. No, I'm not. Well, <laughs> I'm doing. I'm trying to do it. As, I'm trying to um, uh, do the the changes as much as I can, but it's kind of difficult to do. So mm -hmm. we're gonna try. Well, you can just be on Vincent the whole time, and then I'll just be like yeah, a little person in the corner. Well, you you. We now have a, have a picture of stuff up, so, Mr. Vincent. Go for it, then. Okay, so my first one is the Kurgan sword. So the Kurgan from Highlander. So that sword, I've always really liked that sword. It's really, really futuristic looking, but also kind of medieval looking at the same time. So that is my number 10. That's your number 10? Yes. Okay of far down there on the list i figured swords was kind of up here you've been like sword crazy this year so i figured like, have i been sword crazy well, or i haven't been, been like, lightsaber crazy no you've been sort like watching all of the like, um shows where they the 
the blacksmithing type show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go like, oh, that's cool, oh, that's cool, oh, that can cut through that. Forge and fire? Yeah, that was, that's fire pretty cool. Yeah. So I figured you'd have, like, swords, like, higher on the list. So I'm surprised it's at 10. Um, so my number 10 is I collect shot glasses just uh-huh. from, like, everywhere that we go. And I'm kind of a science nerd, and I'm a science teacher. And I have this really weird fascination with lab glass. Like mm-hmm. beakers and Erlenmeyer flasks, and I don't know graduated cylinders. Like I just love. But those she doesn't kind of drink shots of anything. No, I don't. I just like the glass. I just like tiny glasses. <laughs> she doesn't use them, but. No, but I have them on a shelf. She, a whole shelf of them, like. Like a lot. It's like a, a deep, like lot. Like a like hundred a of lot. them. I'll have to take a picture and show them to everybody on Facebook, but. Yeah. But those are cool. So I picked yeah, the lab yeah, glass, yeah, glass. I think they were so cute. So, and then if you were to drink something out of it, I don't know. It just looks like dangerous. Lab glass. I don't know. That's my number ten. <laughs> Stuart, what's your number ten? Um, put my mic on. It might work. Oh, hello, Stuart. Hello. hello. Yes. Is that my mic? I don't know. <laughs> Testing one, I'm two. Done. Just talk towards me. Talk towards you. All right. My number. Th- my, my number ten, and it's a actually. Tradition, well, a New Year's tradition with my girlfriend and I that we always have in the stocking stuffer, and I hate the term stocking stuffer, but that's a long story. Anyway, <laughs> Pez, Pez dispenser. Okay, okay, yeah. So and now it's a tradition. Every year the kids get a Pez dispenser, and usually I find the worst one that the kids don't want. So Daniel last year got an LOL one, nice. and then Oksana got some random robot dude out of Star Wars that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> but yeah. So they're starting ten. to go a lot with the Pez dispensers. They're starting to go really intricate in some of those Pez Well, and you and I used to dispensers. have a collection of Pez dispensers. We did. And we just like had so many collections of so many things that the Pez dispensers was one of the things that went. Like, yeah. It went to the good Well, they, they've changed the way they manufacture stuff and the way they run nowadays. Um... They used to be, back in the bad old days or the good old days or whatever, with Pez, they, um, the property had to be 10 years old or 20 years old, and it couldn't be a live person. So usually the properties were around forever, but now they've changed it so they will pick up on like bad stuff really quickly, so stuff will come in and out. And just make it into nice. Pez has become the new pop. Figure. <laughs> well, it, it, it's the new pop figure before it was the new pop figure. So, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's what it is. Mr. Vincent, go for a number. My number nine um, is an LED mask. Voice activated. Either that or like to be able to like put like COVID words mask. on there too. Yeah, a COVID mask. I thought you meant like a. Yeah, no, COVID mask. Because I can't see what. <laughs> I can't see your PowerPoint. <laughs> you, don't yeah. want, you don't want to see his PowerPoint. I because do. we're probably going to have to do all of this masking stuff for until next, next December. It's, it'll be a while, so. Well, that's that's funny. It's funny when you see something that I want, like, later on down on my list. So, um, my number nine, I've been bugging Vince for a fire pit. And I, we've been, I've been, like, looking on Pinterest, and I started this whole thing where we can make a fire pit... Or I've been wanting, um, what do you call those things, Vincent? That they're like uh, usually, a chiminea. Yeah, a chiminea. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been wanting one of those, maybe. And then, so I saw this on the internet, and I was like, "This is it." So it's a Death Star fire pit, and so the top like opens it up, and then you put the logs inside or whatever and stuff, and then you can sit around outside by your Death Star fire pit and have <laughs> your nice warm fire and your it's funny you should say that because down the list there's something that's similar oh really how funny how funny okay Stuart what's your number nine hang on trying, trying to, to switch. switch that's trying okay trying to switch it's just taking forever uh my number number nine and I don't collect them anymore but I keep seeing them on the shelves uh, Transformers the world of Cybertron figures and they're kind of cool because they're kind of throwbacks to they're using a lot of old school characters, and um, I just keep seeing them. And not that I collect them or anything, they probably sit in a box forever, and then I probably sell them ten years <laughs> in ten years' time, like everything else that I've ever got Transformers now. <laughs> so, 
Uh, do they transform? Like they're transformed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah they transform. probably transform as, but um, just the the War of Cybertron ones are, are I kind of like them for some, kinda cool. for some yeah. reason. So that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, number eight, Mister Vincent. Number eight. Uh, so at the end of uh, the Last Jedi we get to see Ray's new lightsaber. So I want a replica of that lightsaber. Along with all your other 9,000 lightsabers that you have? I only have, with yours, six. <laughs> yeah, six. Yeah. Six. It's only six. It's a lot. Only six. I think it's a lot. So I think mine, which happens to be a Star Wars thing too, by the way, is mm -hmm. much more practical, okay? I found a Jedi robe that's like a bathrobe for your house and like, you know, it pulls over real nice and it's kind of like big sleeves and stuff mm -hmm. and you, like, you can kind of like be mysterious and you can be, oh, I, it has a very Obi-Wan feel to me, right? So I could be Obi-Wan and I could be there in my bathrobe and I can be warm because I've been cold like a lot lately. It's, it's cold. Like freezing it's cold all here. the time, even with the heater on. So when, it, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, oh I want that. That was cool. <laughs> So yeah, that one's cool. I like that one. Big token. <laughs> oh, it's still oh, frozen. Yeah, yeah, it's frozen. Picture. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well, and I, I'm sorry that this is not going as well because I saw this idea on TikTok. Damn TikTok. Um, of doing these PowerPoint parties. And I thought, oh, well, I can, I can kind of like mix it in with the show because we do a lot of these top 10 stuff and we talk mm -hmm. about things like that we like for holidays or whatever. So I was like, we can mix the two together and do like it's our it's our PowerPoint party with y'all and then you get to see like our Christmas list and you get to see some good geeky stuff so if you haven't seen these geeky things and like you have a geek in your life I was hoping that maybe like you would go oh I know so and so and I will you know, like they would like this or whatever what so. if we did a PowerPoint party yeah just as do a the, show just do the PowerPoint so I can just click on the next one maybe that'll yeah. work <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, talking about working, now that I have it working. So what is your number eight story? Number eight, and this is, again, another thing that just popped up. I was randomly walking around Walmart, looking in the toy aisle, and they have retro Ghostbusters figures. They're basically the exact same looking figures from the 90s and 80s, but they're done with more modern technology, and then even the packaging and everything looks the same. So nice. It's like, uh, would I would I mind one of those? Uh, probably not. <laughs> You're like I probably wouldn't say no to it. I would it. not say no to it. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with it, but it's like one of those things that's like, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that would be that's cool. Right. Yeah, that's kind of what I did with my list too. I was like, I don't know that I like if I necessarily got these things, I'd be like, why did I ask for them? But <laughs> I was like looking at stuff and I was like, yeah, I think these would be cool. So, <laughs> so what's your number seven? Then? So my number seven is, uh, well, I've been starting again on doing lightsabers again. Mm -hmm. The latest one that I have. He's going to do a video for Tom, hopefully yeah. this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Um, so that, that, that one's really cool. So I, I really want a soldering iron. A new one that you can uh, like adjust the temp mm -hmm. and stuff because the one I have it's just it's on or off and then you just you want to get the right temp so you can so that you're can able to it solder properly. it quick and yeah and, efficiently. and nine times out of ten you're gonna stick it on the one temperature <laughs> anyway. mm -hmm. but it is nice to have a variable one I've got one at yeah. home so they, they, they are good they That's do cool. like them very cool. So mine is, um, like, I, I'm really into, like, stargazing. That's one of the things that I really like when we go camping. And so I saw this one, and it's uh, enabled, because I didn't want her to hear me. Um, and so you can tell her to, like, turn it on and turn on the stars or turn on a nebula, and she can change the colors and stuff. It's really cool. So you put it, like, in your bedroom, and then you go in there in the night, and it's supposed to help you kind of, like, relax, and it's... It projects like all over nice. your ceiling and it kind of comes down on the walls a little bit when i when i watched the video for it it looked really cool like it's like mm -hmm. kind of having a nebula like right there on your ceiling and stuff and i thought oh this would be kind of like really nice and relaxing when you go in there 
And then I thought Vincent will like it too because it's controlled with his. They're saying, hey guys, where's the audio? Uh oh. It's here. Pressing the button. Oh, and he says, never mind, it's me, not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Retro Crunch. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I was like, we think we're on. Like, or are we having more problems we than we thought? <laughs> no, no more problems. No more that problems. one looks pretty cool because I, I can control it with Alexa. No, it's not cool. Yeah, I thought you would really like that one. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, this would kind of be good for both of us. And you like to do the stargazing with yeah, me Yeah, I well. still have three of these that I need to, like, plug stuff, in plug stuff and... into so I can turn them like, off. Like, we even on. have the Christmas tree plugged into one right now. Yeah, that one's cool. <laughs> The sad, sad little people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I my you, number Alexa. seven is the video game for the Switch called Bubble Bobble for Friends. Bubble Bubble for Friends, okay. Yeah, and Bubble Bobble is like my all-time favorite it's arcade. Is your favorite, yeah? Favorite arcade game. So, and this one is a four-player game, so I can rope the children maybe into it. Do you have a Switch? <laughs> uh, we have, th well, between the two families, we have three Switches now. Oh, okay. I don't have a Switch, no. But you no. could borrow one from somebody. But yeah, Oksana's got one, and Daniel's got one, so... There's a bubble yes. Yes, we've one on Stuart and the I arcade played machine, before. right? Yes, I know. Yeah. Yes, there's multiple versions of it. But this one, again, four players, so... Nice. And it's not the stupid puzzle one. Don't like the puzzle one. Like the other one. Yeah. <laughs> My number six, we're going back to Star Wars again is the Death Star floating speaker. I saw that. And it just, yeah. But it's a black and green one with a green LED around it. It looks mm -hmm. really cool. Um, that's that's one of the things that would, I would get just because I like to just watch it float. Is it Alexa enabled? Be a lot cooler if it was. No, it wouldn't. It would be less cool. <laughs> I could probably connect it to Alexa because like, it's Bluetooth. I was going to say, you use her for all your music needs now, so I don't know what you would need a speaker for. Like, when I see <laughs> stuff like that, I'm like, he would like it, but, like, he would never use it. There's, like, yeah. speakers all over the house that never get used because you use her for all your, like, listening needs, so. Um, my number six kind of is what I was saying goes back to your mask, Vincent. Uh -huh. So I saw this thing that it's an LED um, name tag. And I've seen that. I've wanted that for so long until I saw the mask. Well, I was looking, and this one is supposed to actually scroll. So you could yeah. do, like, a, a message. Because there's some of them that are static, and so you can only do, like, six or seven letters or something like that. Yeah. But this one scrolls a message. So I was like, that would be so much fun to, like, wear at school and have, like, different messages on it for the kids to, like, read or whatever. I don't know. It just seems like it would be fun. We should get one for you and me. Or one where it's, like, I'm having a bad day back off or whatever, and I just wear it everywhere I go, so people just, like, <laughs> leave me alone or whatever. It's, like, don't talk to me. I don't know. I just thought it would be funny. Yeah, they are cool. Are I, they? I've got a whole heap of them. I've got to find them again, but I have them. <laughs> yeah, like, I've got to find them, but uh, I've got them. I was going to use them for, like, um, price tagging and stuff. I was doing stuff at night time. In conventions that In we don't have anymore? conventions that we don't have anymore, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so. So what's your six? My number six, when it eventually loads, again, because I used to collect action figures, it's all, all action figures, and believe it or not, G.I. Joe are back! Really? really? Yes, G.I. Joe are back, and they're six inch. Really? Mm hmm So it's called uh, G.I. Joe Classified. They're hmm. like a six inch figure now. And I think they are super cool. Not that I was a big G.I. Joe collector. Well, there was there was a line with G.I. Joe Extreme, wasn't there? Or something like no, that. No, we don't talk about that. The G.I. Joe collectors do not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but these, these They're look, to the extreme. But these look really cool because they, they look like the original figures, but again, six inch. But six inches. So, again, I saw them in Walmart and I was like, well, those are good. Yeah, well, Twenty bucks, not so good. <laughs> I like it. No, just kidding. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but again, it's one of those things. It's like, would I ever play with them? No. Would I, Would they stay in the box? Probably. And um, would I end up selling them in a four or five years time? More than likely as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll still take it. But it's one of those things. It's like, oh, it's kind of cool okay. enough that I, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. And again, I, I'm surprised that they're back in any form because Warsaw is ridiculous. No, no. 
think I'm taking my wolf away from you. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be a thing. Yeah. So I'm surprised. So yeah, I, so was I. I was just surprised when they came back. And of course, we can't push anything out because that would be too easy, wouldn't it? You know, I was just thinking about it as we were going through this. And as we were getting to five, then because it's Christmas time, in mm -hmm. my mind, I was like, five golden mm -hmm. rings. Go to five. And I was like, we should have done 12 things instead of 10 things. Go to five. The 12 presents so five. Uh, oh my god, now. It <laughs> went off of it. Yeah. So five, my five is a custom bobblehead. It's like Superman, but with my face on it. Shut up. Yes. Yeah. That seems weird, like freaky weird. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool. No, that seems weird. Like Come on, weird, a Mexican like, Superman? Freaky. That'd be awesome. No. That's Chicano weird to Superman. have your face like, on a bobblehead all <laughs> with your giant egghead all <laughs> no no that's weird i don't like that i'm gonna that. get it i'm like gonna it. do it i don't like it i don't like it i'm gonna do it can you like pre-design it and see what it looks like i think so you would think so yeah uh virtual print says in the 3.752 they brought back the three uh three and three quarters size figures uh, and some some of the vehicles too oh, awesome oh really awesome i did not know that i thought poor gi joe had spit the dust yeah so. i thought it wasn't come back ever again mm -hmm. but apparently has we run out of ideas <laughs> they're like back to <laughs> since they the lost age. batman to everybody else they went we've got to put something out yeah <laughs> so what is your five so i have a mini backpack problem i love the lounge fly mini backpacks i already have mm -hmm. a star wars one that i love that i take every time we go traveling somewhere and so they have a grogu one and he's Who? adorable Grogu. No, we will not refer Baby to him as Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. But they have um, a little mini backpack purse that's of him, and he's in his little... It looks like the purse looks like he's in his little ship. Mm -hmm. And then when you open the purse up, the lining inside of the purse is all fabric with him on it. Oh, nice. It's real pretty. Um, it's very... Um, Who makes that one? Loungefly. Loungefly yeah. Lounge makes all of those. Loungefly make a pretty good product. Loungefly makes mm -hmm. a real nice product. Yeah. Yeah. Is are, is your other one a Loungefly? Yeah, the other yeah. one's a Loungefly too. Yeah, they're really good quality. I think we found that one at Fye. Something like Something that. Something like that. A really good price. And it was a really good price because they're normally yeah. like a hundred and twenty dollars. So that's why I don't have more than one. Because <laughs> and that one that we found, there was no way I paid a hundred and twenty dollars for because I'm really cheap and that would not. I don't even pay $120 for a Michael Kors purse. So, <laughs> but yeah, like, it, you know, if I was going to spend stupid money on something, I would spend it on that. I guess it's my turn. It's your turn. Number five. Number five. Because I like alcohol. Alcohol is good, and I saw this on something, and I don't know, and it looks just too bad to have. Uh, it's called the Ugly, Ugly Christmas Sweater Salsa Pack from, from Bud Light. Okay. <laughs> but it has wonderful flavors like cranberry and crisp apple pie and peppermint patty. And it's salsa? Yeah. Weird. Seltzer. 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 Oh, I thought, okay, seltzer. It's because he's Australian. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Bud Light makes salsa now? Yeah, they do. They make salsa, yeah. Is that, but is that real? What? The seltzer pack. Or, or did somebody make no, that? No, it's real. Oh, it's real? It's real. Yeah, Bud Light sells a lot of seltzer stuff now. Oh. And, and the flavors were just too weird. And it was like, uh, I want weird flavors. I feel like the peppermint one might be really good. Uh, apparently, well, I was watching a program and the guy that was drinking it um, was going through with them all. And he thought, like, the ones that he thought were going to be the worst were actually the best. So he said the peppermint's really good. But he said the um, the apple pie one, it tastes like apple pie, but you shouldn't be liquidly drinking the apple pie because you can taste the crust in there. I was like, that's kind of weird. Ew, that's weird. <laughs> they went a little too far with that experience. <laughs> to the extreme. <laughs> to the extreme. Like right. G.I. Joe. <laughs> Mr. Vincent Gregory. Right. Number four. So my number four is a Santa Superman Funko Pop. Santa He's... Superman Funko Pop. Yeah, I missed got, that uh, one got like a Santa hat and he's got an ugly sweater and that sounds cute it is cute that sounds super cute yeah. actually <laughs> like, do you need another pop around here I need that one 
We need that one. We need that one. We, that would be one of the ones. We have a few pops that are actually in our Christmas boxes, and mm-hmm. so they don't come out except for Christmas time. Yeah. So that it would go with that. Because I have a bunch of the Rudolph ones. Um, yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. Um, so my number four is actually um, a figure that I don't need, like Stuart, but I really liked the way this one looks. It's like got a real chunky, kind of weird... It's kind of like that Superman that I found for you that's got like that anime mm-hmm. feel. So this one is a Donatello shadow figure. And so... Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how to explain him, except he's like Donatello, but he's like on steroids. Like, he's real chunky, and his head's kind of chunky. He's, and a, he's a chibi XD, he's whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like that. But I, when I saw him, I was like, oh, I kind of like that one. That one's cool, because he's different. Yeah. Yeah, so I like that. Not as different as my Hello Kitty Donatello, but still different and cool. But I like it. My mom got me one a couple of years ago that's a Donatello, and it's, like, all glittery. And <laughs> so I like him because he's weird and kind of yeah. different. So I like things that are kind of odd, oddballs. So shout out Donatello seems kind of odd. Yeah. Looks like one of those things is, eh, but they'll sit on the shelf. Yeah, I don't need him, but I kind of yeah. have a space right don't. there, so I do need him. Mm-hmm. Just FYI. I need that one. Just for that specific That one's not that right expensive, there. so send it to me. Yeah. All right. My number four. And this will have to be a digital thing. We're all buying digital movies. Mm, all so the weird. Time. Um, I want the Lone Wolf and Cub movie from the 70s. Lone Wolf and Cub? Lone Wolf and Cub. I've never heard of it. You haven't? Are you enjoying The Mandalorian? Yes. Yeah, they stole it all from that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Basically, feudal Japan, uh, disgraced samurai warrior and his kid going around having adventures and fights and cool stuff and over six of them and they're like full feature length movies yeah huh interesting cool. so when i get them maybe i keep looking at them i want to buy them all in a pack but they don't offer them all in a pack so i'm gonna have to shell out 15 or 20 bucks a movie to get them all ouch um, ow. so <laughs> one, of those, one of those things is like uh, i can buy a two series of the Simpsons or something when it's on on sale, or I can buy like these movies. So they're on my like little watch list to buy stuff. So in case they go down a little bit, they never go down. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like one of those things, that, and you can't really find the DVDs for them because they're out of print unless you're buying some bootleg Chinese one. Right, right. So I want them just because I want them. Well, I'll keep my eyes open every time we go to half price books. You just never yeah. know. Never, well, yeah, you might. Because you know, I found some really weird DVDs and stuff. Yeah, like I found that, some weird stuff at half price books, books before, like, so you just never know. Like, I have all the Dragon Ball DB, DVDs because they came in box sets originally. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I got them from the next to nothing. Nice. And like, yes. <laughs> Mr. Vincent, go My number it. three. So you think I have this already, but I don't. This is a... It's like the worst thing ever. Sock monkey mask. <laughs> but it's not with sock monkeys on it. It's a smock monkey mouth. Yeah, that's even worse. COVID mask. It's even worse than the LED one. I didn't think the LED one was going to be fine. I have a thing for... Sock monkeys. He does have a thing for sock monkeys. His daughter-in-law made him a sock monkey mask that has got like sock monkeys all over the fabric. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no. <laughs> it's kind of creepy and weird. It seems yeah. kind of creepy. Yeah. I like it. Real creepy. I'm gonna do it. I'm getting it. It's yeah. mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're number three. <laughs> My number three is super cute and not weird and creepy at all. Mine is dragons. Um, there's a little um, like Etsy shop called Dragons and Beasties. And she makes the cutest little dragons with little happy faces. And she only has a few out at a time. So right now she has this really colorful one that has like little forest animals around it. And it's real cute. And then she has another one. Is she, blue one she the one that we would see at the... No, but people do them, like, in the same yeah. kind of style as hers. Yeah, she's pretty, like, her stuff is all over um, Pinterest and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I like that kind of style. I have a, uh, one that I bought at a convention. Um, hers are in vinyl, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I thought, oh, that's nice. She actually has a hippogriff and some other stuff on her site. Yeah. Like, so if you have some Harry Potter fans in, um, 
he wanted to get him something, they're really inexpensive. They're like eight dollars for the little single ones. The the bigger one, like I right. showed, the, is like twenty bucks. But even then, that's hardly anything. But she has a bunch of stuff. Real, real cute. So dragons and beasties. If you have somebody dragons that likes that fantasy beasties. type stuff, it's real cute and really affordable. So yeah. Neat. And a small business. So I mean, we're all trying to keep yeah. small businesses afloat. So that's a nice thing too. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, Retro Crunch. Crunch says looks creepy, <laughs> like they said. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Retro Crunch. Let's convince him. I, I like it. That. What's your number three, Stuart? All right, my number three because I am the person who loves video games, especially arcade video games. They put out a uh, very, very tiny, and they're called Micro Arcades in the UK. There is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles version. Oh, cool. And it's the same one of, you know the one that I made for you? Uh-huh. That. That that's how, small. That's how big it is. What? So it's only, it's only one player game, but it's that small, and I just want it. You're like, I just <laughs> want it. I want it. <laughs> Actually, I collect, these these ones I collect. I collect the little mini ones because they take up next to no space, and they're, they're, they're like one of the, an impulse buy kind of thing. They're like 20 bucks. 20 bucks a piece. Right, right. And I've got maybe seven or eight of them already. I don't know, there's a whole heap more I haven't got yet. But the Turtles one, I'm like, I just want to get the Turtles one. You're like, I need that one. I need that <laughs> one so I can just play it. It looks like the original cabinet. It's cool. Oh, no, it doesn't look anything like the original cabinet. It looks well, like the, didn't it have that same thing on the side? Uh, the artwork is, yes. The artwork. The artwork. The artwork's yeah. the same. But, uh, no, the, the, the cabinet looks nothing like the cabinet. It looks exactly like, look, your one. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, yeah. Want it. <laughs> sure. Cool. Want, wanting things is an amazing thing. Isn't yeah, it? it is. It's nice. <laughs> My number two. Mr. So. Vince, Mr. Vincent wants expensive wants. I'm stuck here at home all I'm not the time. buying a robot friend. No. I don't need a robot friend. Oh. But I do need a large portable monitor for my laptop so I can have two 17.3 screens right next to each other. You have like six monitors in here already. Yeah, but that's not portable. But you can hook your laptop to the This is all portable. It's a good thing. Yeah, it looks like a tablet. It's going to fall off the desk and break. I don't know how you can fit any more monitors in this house. No, I'd only take it out when I'm using my laptop and I'm like, when it be in the living room. You don't have the case in it. It would be outside. <laughs> it's, it, look, just let him want it. He's going to buy it anyway. I know. If you don't buy it for him, he's going to... Amazon's going to come to my door. Retro Crunch says, uh, they sent me that TMNT to review. It's pretty cool pretty neat although i think it was only three levels i beat it in like 10 minutes yeah. still i like it still likes it <laughs> still want it <laughs> still want it sorry no. so late portable monitor looks cool no, yes no 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 yes no who said that trh no 20 10 44 no 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 stop encouraging vince please stop encouraging vince my number, it's two only is like really cool. My number two is really cool. It's a telescope, and we could look at the stars with the telescope. But yeah. why, why would you need that when you've got the thing that does the stars and Because spirit? those are fake. That's fake. This, like, I can go when we go camping. Yeah, but you don't have to go outside. You can have a snack. And... No, I want to go outside and, like, look at the moon closer and no. look at the stars. Not allowed, and... not allowed outside unless you're wearing a sock monkey mask. No, I don't want a sock monkey mask. Sock monkey! I want a telescope! telescope telescope is pretty cool yeah i want to be able to see stuff especially when we go camping i think mm. it would be really great we i had a small one it. when i was a kid because i was big into I did too. Uh, astronomy we would go up on the roof and try to mm. see things but it was like one of those that you probably got from montgomery wards or whatever something like, like that <laughs> it was like a hot mess it was a white a white one that yeah. was about yay yes, that was the one thick. we had too yes it had the orange sticks <laughs> tripod thing. Yes. Yeah. And the nice thing about this one that I found is it, like the tripod is separate, and so you can, it's very modular, so you can take it places very easily. Mm-hmm. So that was why we wanted, I would want it for camping. 
because we've been really independent lately. That's one of the things. What's your number two, Stuart? My number two. Evil Knievel stunt cycle set. Evil Knievel stunt cycle set. Okay. This is a reproduction of an ideal toy that came out in the 70s. So therefore it's going to be a piece of plastic crap and it's going to break. But it's Evil Knievel and it's the one that I wanted when I was a little boy and never got. <laughs> I had that one. I hate you. <laughs> I had that one. Spoiled. But, Since it was spoiled. But there's all these videos online of people that are getting these toys and they're jumping them over things and jumping them through fire and jumping them over nice. pools. And, and 90 no, 90% of people say, yeah, you do about three or four jumps and they break. Yeah. So You're like, that's okay. I can have the joy from three jumps. It's, a, it's like a $50 toy that you're going to jump over something and break. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So, yes. But I must have it because I wanted Evil Knievel. Wanted it as a kid. It so bad. Because Evil Knievel was the original superhero for a while, at least for the 70s generation. Yeah. And you know what? You're saying I had one uh, and it couldn't jump the van. <laughs> and I had the van. Oh, the van. And the too. sky cycle. Oh. <laughs> you, know, you know what I had? I had the Evil Knievel dragster. It was like, I, Evil Knievel doesn't drive a dragster. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, was this thing on clearance? Because this is fun. Uh, it was like one of the one of the things that my parents just didn't didn't get. Right, right. Thing, so it was like, <laughs> right when you tell uh, your parents you want something, this uh, is I got worse. so I got some cool toys, but like the evil Canoe, I had to go to my cousin's to play with all his stuff. He had everything in the van, and <laughs> so jelly. But yeah, I think when that happens, <laughs> have to buy a fifty dollar reproduction and smash it into something. <laughs> and break, set it on fire, please. Set it on fire. It'll be fun for five minutes. Again, it'll probably sit in the box and sit on the shelf forever, and then I'll go, oh, this is done by myself. <laughs> Mr. Vincent, number one. My number one God damn it. is a Mavic Pro 2 drone. A drone? Yeah. That's another drone. Does because the, I need a powerful one that can fight wait, wait. against the wind. Did I ever put the video up? No, it's on my channel, it's not on this channel. Yeah. Y'all should all go to Clearly Colleen and watch the video of Vincent Crushing. crashing his drone into the water. <laughs> Retro Grin says, I need that telescope. Jupiter and Saturn will be aligning uh, and occurs on December, on December 21st. 21st. Yeah. And it's the first time since the 1600s that that's going to happen. So the drone... I've been, I, I was playing with the drone, and I really like the drone, but it's not that powerful, and it doesn't last very long. This one will. It does have software where it allows you not to crash. I didn't really crash it after I learned how to use it. I've not I, seen you use it since then, so I don't know. Yeah, I've been using it. And all I know is it was no fun because you didn't even have the film going, so we didn't even get to see, like, drone vision of like it going towards oh, the yeah. water or anything that would have been so fun to have that footage but that one was like a super cheapy one yeah this one is like professionals use this one well, i asked you a few times if you wanted a drone and you told me no now you changed well, your mind. but i wanted to see what it was like what it was like first yeah. yeah before i was like yeah let me see see it sink six hundred dollars into Ooh, it oh six hundred dollars you better, or more. You better, you better want the pants the next thing you want. <laughs> I guess so. No, the next thing I want is actually stupid expensive for what it really, really? is. Yes. Is yes. it like a limited edition? Yes. Mm. So, my number one is the R2-D2 Barbie. And actually, I'm not going to lie, I would take the whole set. So, they took the characters from Star Wars and they turned them into these fashionista Barbies. And they're the signature series, so they go... R2, the R2-D2 one is the cheapest one at $100. They range from $100 to $200 depending on what it is. The Chewbacca one, she is in this beautiful like fur coat and everything. And she's got the strappy... Oh, she's gorgeous. The Darth Vader one, gorgeous. They are beautiful. Like, they are beautiful Barbies. They're the kind of Barbie that like stays in the box and, and everything. So, like Stuart... Um, I did not get Barbies when I was growing up. I was very tomboyish, but there was some, there was a time when I wanted Barbies, but my family didn't have a whole lot of money, so we didn't get a whole lot of presents and stuff, and I, I just didn't ask for things, 
and my aunt got me this weird Darcy doll, and it's a whole traumatic thing. But anyway. Oh, and they used to call your doll, uh, They called her Nanette. Nanette. Because she was so ugly, she must have an ugly name like Nanette. <laughs> Even though her name was Darcy. But anyway, so... <laughs> I, I wasn't really big into Barbies, and then Barbie started to do, like, I kind of wanted one as a kid, but I was like, nah, like, I'm more mannish or whatever. It's not a big deal, and all the other kids have them, and, like, I don't need one, whatever. And then I had, you know, Buck Rogers, and he didn't have his legs, and he loved Nanette because he was, you know, messed up, and they had the love. <laughs> and then Superman broke one of his arms off and his legs, and my brother gave me him, too, and then there was a love triangle, so... <laughs> And then after this prime came into the picture. <laughs> no, and then I had Murdoch, Murdoch from the A team, um, but his le his leg fell off, and Mark from Mark and Mindy, and his legs fell off because the joints weren't very good and all of those things. So I used those little brads and I poked them through. So then their legs were all like floppy and they couldn't stand very well, and so they all had like disorders and they were all their children from like I don't know. I had weird stories. So so anyways, fast forward to we're an adult. And then they have um, these Spongebob Barbies, and I was like, oh, those are cute. And then they had, like, Hello Kitty Barbies, and I was like, oh, that's cute. Then they had, like, Fat Barbies, and I was like, oh, that Fat Barbie looks like me, like, fat like me. And so I was like, I need a Fat Barbie. And so then I got some Fat Barbies, and then I was like, oh, I kind of like these Barbies. And so now it's just another thing for me to collect. And <laughs> it's one of those things that's like, I couldn't have it as a child, because, like, I think that was me with action figures. I never really had action figures at all. So it was like when I had expendable money, I spent it all on action figures. It's like all the things that your parents didn't yeah. let you no. have. You were like, yes, I'm getting that stuff. Fine oh, yeah, I have stupid, mine. like, Lisa Frank stuff now. I have Hello San Sanrio stuff now that I'm an adult. I have all that stuff that we couldn't have when I was a kid because there was just no money for it. Yeah. Unless you found it at the solo serve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your number one spirit? My number one, I already have this. So, I bought it already. Oh. <laughs> You're like, I wanted it so bad, I've already I wanted it. it so bad, I bought it anyway. Uh, it's a Dragon's Lair mini arcade cabinet. It's one six scale. And it's actually two scale. And you can stand like a 12-inch G.I. Joe in front of it. And it looks like the G.I. Joe is in scale to the... Oh, six. nice. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Uh, and it plays exactly like the original. And this one... They've been putting them out for a while, but this one you can actually plug into like a big screen and you can play it on the big screen. Oh, shut up. That's cool. So, I already have a number of the, this company's put out like four or five of them already and every time they put out one I plonk down the $130 or whatever it is to get one. But yeah, I like them because they're, again, one six scale, you can put a G.I. Joe or a, a Monster High doll in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> My nice. Barbies can play arcade! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, it was like Dragon's Lair. That was a no-brainer. Bought. G.I. Joes can use it. Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Retro Crim says, "Be careful, Vince. Uh, it's obvious your legs are eventually going to fall off." <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I have some brads, some metal brads. It'll some be all yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> So cool, yeah. Uh, well, thanks for checking this out. This is our Christmas edition, yeah. early. Yeah. Our Christmas geeky Christmas gifts. Um, had a lot of stuff. Because next week, I'm not sure, we haven't decided if we're going to be here or not because it's our anniversary, so we're mm -hmm. waiting to kind of see where the COVID numbers are at and what we're going to do and what gets kind of shut going, down. You're not going anywhere. Might not be going anywhere. <laughs> so we might just be here. So we might be here, but if not, um, next week on thursday we will have been married for 21 years mm -hmm. so on friday we our, our our marriage can drink now our marriage can drink now it's legal yeah it's legal <laughs> they can legally drink yes so we'll see we might be here next week and then we might not yeah and then we'll definitely be here on the 18th and then we're going to take a little break mm -hmm. like we normally do at the end of the year to kind of recoup cool so uh We'll check that out, but thanks for checking us out. If you haven't clicked on that subscribe button, click on that subscribe button and hit the notification icon so the next time we go live or the next time we put out a video, which one is coming this weekend, I think, uh, you'll be able to see it. But thanks for checking us out. I'm Vince. I'm Colleen, and that's Stuart. Geek, Geek out, out essay. Geek waving. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba. Won't do it.
It's coming. It's coming. Didn't look choppy or anything like that. 